It's time for reinforcements. Alright, here we go. So Toga there. I got my this is good. I have a notebook of, of, of notes. What well, I I have notes. I've written stuff down so I can remember stuff. Um But I don't wanna cheat every time I try to pronounce these characters' names. Toga Darero. Tokagero, Tokagero, remember it! Four syllables! Tokagero. Amidamaru. <laughs> Fuck. Don't laugh at me. <laughs> what do you say like that? You're falling for my trap card. Oh, to understand that he actually has a real sword. Man, you're fighting with like a little wooden sword. It's not the same. Headphones. How dare he? Or you can just kick him in the nuts. <laughs> oh. So you tell me every time this the, the swordsmith always makes him a sword, he breaks it? Swords now. Spring ring. Spring ring. In honor of the 
Sure, new beginnings. To new beginnings. Spring Rain was Mosuki's very first sword. Don't attack. It's the last remaining Mosuki sword for a reason. It's the strongest sword he ever made. And you will only be able to shatter it if you attack it with all of your heart and soul. But you have to be sure. If there is even the slightest hesitation in your spirit, he'll deflect you in counterattack. Then that, as they say, will be that. Chapter 4. Well, if you left the book again, I'll lose a patient with all of these snappy memories. You have until the count of three before your primary lock is from memory lane. And one, one thousand. And two, one thousand. Don't do it! Yeah. And three. Yeah. <laughs> we believe in you. So he's gonna break the sword. Damn. Some bitch. So just as Mosuke did, I sacrificed a past memory to protect all of those that are here with us today. And in doing so, his memory lives on. Damn, your homie's gonna be pissed at you. You keep breaking his swords. Chapter 6. Tokyo Carol's Revenge Plan fails. And I can show you the door to the spirit world. To the spirit world? And leave this world behind? Yep, that's right. I'm not going anywhere. Oh, yes, you are. Let's be ready to the next chapter. Chapter 7, where he looks like the unbeatable bandit has actually been beaten. But wait, Dr. Garrow has a few tricks strapped in his bag. He distracts his enemies by narrating a lengthy speech as if he were writing a book while moving backwards with his own enemies. What? He just laid down. What? Really, he's a nice guy. After he li literally said he was going to kill your friend. What? No way. Yes, let's do it. I'll show you what happens when you vote on trusting. Yeah, this is a final mistake. 
What the fuck? So he possessed Joe. Yeah, too many crying peoples. Wait, you can't do it? Or because the plot demands it. I don't know. <sighs> yeah. He made you cry. Versus after life around. All right, um, sure. What a weird, zany episode. Um, could have been a little bit more action packed, but it wasn't. But um, this episode I could highlight it. Not not my favorite episode, honestly. The, this episode was okay to me, but that's the point that I'm going to make right now. If it makes sense. Anyway, the point is, is that, uh, this is the reason why I fell in love with this show as a kid. And, like, I'm starting to get those feelings again as to why I think the show's great. It's because of the characters. There's so many of them. And not only is there so many of them, they're so likable and they're, they have such great personalities. You like Yo, you like Morty, you like Anna, you like Amindabara, you like Tokagero, you like Ryu, you like the Dead Enders, you, you like Trey, you like Lenny, maybe not him. You know what I'm saying? Like, in the short span of 11 episodes, we've met so many of these characters, and each one of them uh, bring such different weight to the episodes, and when they collide with one another... Their banters are interesting. I'm so overly impressed. Like I, like I said, once since I was a child to as an adult now, this this is definitely one of the best animes I've ever seen. But that's just my opinion. Love to hear your thoughts. Do you guys agree with me? Disagree with me? I love to hear your thoughts. So as always, God bless you, and I'll see you soon. Bye bye.